Thanks to Wendigo Tea for their support. They're keeping each episode steeped in mystery and value. WendigoTea.com. Your daily game plan for success. It's Sacks in the Morning. Steve Sacks. Hi, Steve Sacks here with Sacks in the Morning. And this week is Walk On Week. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to share three amazing stories of people who walked on to college football teams and went on to great success afterwards as well. But before I get to our first story, let me tell you about another unlikely story. And that's the story of Wendigo Tea which was started by Sky White, who toured with the band Foxy Shazam for 10 years before starting Wendigo T while the band was on hiatus. While touring with the band, Sky discovered the best teas in the world. He'd be out there hunting for you know the best ones that he could find and wanted to bring them directly to you. And that's what Wendigo Tea is all about. So go to WendigoTea.com to try some of this fantastic tea and put in the promo code SACS at checkout to save 15%. So this week is walk-on week, and we decided to do that because this week on Thursday, we have an interview with the ultimate, the ultimate walk-on, and that is Rudy Rudiger from the movie Rudy, and I can't wait to share that with you. Today, though, is a story of Javion Elliott, who was from a small town in Florida in Panama City. Elliott loved football and was a standout at his high school. He had several colleges reach out with interest in him playing football for them, but when the time came, Javian was left hanging with no offers to play football and nowhere to go to school. So, as you can imagine, this is pretty crushing. So he assumed his football days were over. He went to junior college and worked odd jobs at places like TJ Maxx and worked at the assembly line for Train, the HVAC company. Then a call to Florida State from his father resulted with news that if he went to a junior college and he got a degree— he would have a much better chance of walking on to Florida State as a junior. Makes sense. He was excited by that prospect, and he began to work out again, dreaming of football greatness. As he got closer to his associate's degree, he called Florida State to get information about his eligibility and found that even though he hadn't played football, his time in school left him with just two years of eligibility. The person in admissions even told him he should probably look to go to a school where he had a better chance of making the team. Undeterred, Javian transferred to Florida State, where they had just won a national championship. He hadn't played a snap of football in over three years, but attempted to walk on as a wide receiver. He was then pulled out of a meeting by coaches and told, you're going to work out at defensive back. In an early practice, Javian snagged an interception and had a moment where he realized he belonged. He said it was a huge moment for him because up to that point, he felt out of place and not good enough. But after that pick, he saw that he was just as fast and just as strong as the other recruits. Players began to make him believe he would make the team and even get a scholarship. But then youthful mistakes and bravado began to overtake him. During the summer, Javian had spent too much time partying with the teammates and failed an online class that he was taking during the summer. That one F caused him to be academically ineligible to play football for his junior year. But Javian took responsibility for his mistake, made up the class, and got back on the team in the spring. At that point, he flourished and performed so well that he was awarded a full scholarship for his final year. Halfway through that season, he earned a starting job as a nickel cornerback, and after graduating, wanted to play in the NFL. After going undrafted, an agent told him that the Pittsburgh Steelers were going to sign him as a free agent, but the Steelers never called. Again, he thought his football dreams, which had been amazing, were over. Then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers called and asked him if he would come the next day for a workout. So he jumped in his car and drove down to the workout. He performed well, but was told it was between him and another player with a better pedigree, and ultimately the Bucs went with the other guy. He was again let down, and he began the long drive back home. But while on the way home, the Bucs called him again and told him that the other player had failed his physical and asked him to come back and sign with the team. That started a four-year NFL career for this kid from Panama City who had zero colleges invite him to play football. So really, the story here and the questions you have to ask is, what does it take to have that perseverance? What does it take to get back on your feet even after you've made stupid mistakes like most of us have? What is it going to take for you to realize the dream and do the right thing and get in the way of an opportunity? And that's exactly what he did. And that is my short for today. 
If you like what you heard, give us a positive review, subscribe, and share. Also, remember that the Sacks in the Morning swag is now available on my Instagram site. Go to Sacks in the Morning underscore podcast. You'll see it right there on the Instagram and just hit the link. Everything's there mugs, hats, tumblers, you name it. Take advantage of it.